Hey, this is Driving with the Miles. I'm a state certified instructor. Today we're going to talk about how do you start up a car safely. Most cars today have a fob, and a fob is a large uh, plastic uh, key that allows you to start the car. So what I'm going to do is go ahead and push the push to start. You always want to have your foot on the brake. And you, the reason you want to have your foot on the brake because the car lunges forward. Right, some cars do, some cars don't. So you've got to be careful. So I always like to wait a moment to let the car kind of warm up a little bit. And I'm gonna show you some information in this vehicle that's a little bit different. Uh, because it's a SRT, you have some special features in here that will give you information about the vehicle. So obviously my traction control is off as you're looking at the dashboard. We are low on fuel, so we will be getting some of that. Um, the temperature is cold. Uh, the RPMs are about 1100. So normally cars don't idle this high, but this car has some other special features in here that I'll talk about at a later date. Um, so it's really important that you understand how to you know, prepare your vehicle for an opportunity to get on the road. Um, so I'm just letting the vehicle warm up a moment. You always want to look around. You never just want to jump out because that's really important. I'm loading up the SRT uh, pages right now just to give us some more information about the vehicle. Uh, certain vehicles that are of the SRT brand uh, have this. And once you start it up, so obviously here are some timers. Uh, G-forces, we're not moving right now. Uh, here are gauges. So the oil pressure is a little bit high because it's still cold. Uh, our voltage is 14.4. Our oil temperature is 120 degrees. Um, some other gauges. Uh, we have some other information. Oil pressure, as you can see. Other options. And then my second gauges. So this kind of gives you information. Uh, some vehicles have this, some don't. So I'm gonna go ahead and uh, pull off. And you wanna have your foot on the brake and you wanna roll down very slowly. You wanna look left and right. And we're just gonna go ahead and go left and roll down slowly and look. And because the car is still cold, you don't wanna just hammer it, particularly certain types of vehicles. As you can tell, my fuel's definitely low. So I'm gonna go ahead and head to the gas station and get some uh, premium. Uh, so I'm driving uh, in the area, looking through, watching cars, watching houses. Uh, this is your high beams. You see the blue light on the dashboard that tells us high beams. The high beams are now off. So whenever you come up to a corner, you wanna cut off your high beams. That's good. Uh, etiquette uh, to not blind drivers and then you want to come up and then have a nice complete stop for three seconds if you can see that shiny piece of ice that is what you consider black ice because you can't see it and the temperature is cold so I'm gonna go ahead and make the turn uh, we're at 28 degrees so uh, as you can tell you can see the oil pressure go up on the gauge quite a bit the temperature the cooler temperature starting to warm up so I'm just taking my time kind of letting the motor warm up not trying to hammer it you always want to take care of your vehicle and be safe and be consistent and just kind of take it easy through you know wherever you live wherever you're going neighborhoods I'm gonna have a complete stop then I'm gonna make a left hand turn so here's my complete stop I look left I look right I look left and then I'm turning and gently accelerating through the turn and then I turn out hand over hand. This might be a little bit better. So I'm just scanning through the neighborhood, looking left, middle, and right. You always wanna watch out for cars, watch out for people like that car. They kind of roll the stop sign because people just get careless in neighborhoods. You wanna practice your best driving in your neighborhoods. So I'm looking and I'm turning hand over hand in and I turn out hand over hand. So let's review. I've talked about uh, starting the car up, how you're supposed to let the car warm up a little bit. It's important that you take it easy through your neighborhood because neighborhoods are the most dangerous place because you let your guard down. I'm a state certified instructor. I teach teens and adults. I need you to get us a thumbs up. I have some great other content coming and I appreciate all of you and what you do. Thank you for subscribing and giving this video a thumbs up.